We do have a pretty decent weekend on the way. Yeah, the weekend forecast not looking too bad at all. A bit closer to where we should be for this time of year when it comes to temperatures. Gone are the 70s and 80s from the day yesterday, thanks to a cold front coming through the region right now. Also, you can see a few rain showers out there as you get ready to step out the door for Friday morning plans. But take a look off to the west. St. Lawrence County, Franklin County already starting to see some signs of clearing out there. These rain showers really not going to last all that long. The bulk of the rain should actually begin to wrap up here by the time we head towards 9 or 10 o'clock this morning for all of us. Temperatures hanging out in the 50s and 60s, so no doubt still very mild out there, but it's not the 70s. And as a matter of fact, we were mostly in the 70s here earlier this morning, so we're already starting to lose some ground, and that trend will continue here as we head through the course of the day today. Again, rain showers continue to push off to the east by about 9 or 10 o'clock this morning. I think most of us are now dry out there. I think we actually see a little bit of mid day sunshine get going here and there as well, followed by another round of clouds here as we head towards later this afternoon as well as this evening. Winds, they'll be breezy at times here through the course of the morning hours. Between the mid to late morning hours, I think we could see gusts upwards of 40 to 50 miles per hour, especially along the northern portions of the Adirondacks and the eastern slope of the Green Mountains. The winds began to diminish and transition to being out of the north here as we head towards later this evening and tonight. The winds out of the north, that will really help to pump in the cooler air here as we head into the upcoming weekend. With that in mind, we do have a wind advisory up for the northern portions of the Adirondacks, that running until noontime today. That's where we could see gusts upwards of 50 miles per hour. But speaking of the weekend, as we head into the weekend, the weekend forecast looking pretty good. I think we start off the day tomorrow, a bit of cloud cover left over, but then we get the sunshine going into tomorrow afternoon and tomorrow evening. We'll keep that sunshine going into the day on, sun, on Sunday from sunrise to sunset here through the second half of the weekend. But the temperatures a bit cooler here as we head into the weekend as well. Gone are the 70s and 80s. We'll be back into the 40s and lower 50s here as we head for both Saturday and Sunday. Temperatures were we're actually getting cooler here as we head through the course of the day today. Right now, most of us in the 60s, falling through the 60s, back towards the 50s here as we head towards later this evening. And take a look at where we are come daybreak tomorrow morning. Yeah, most of us actually back into the 30s here as we head towards early tomorrow morning. Into the rest of your day on Saturday, we'll see the sunshine come out. Temperatures climbing back into the 40s. We'll keep that sunshine going for your day on Sunday as well, followed by a bit more cloud cover. The better chance that a few rain showers here as we head towards the start of next week. Temperatures will bump up just a bit as well for midweek as well back into the 60s here for Tuesday and Wednesday. Well, all things considered, not an overly warm weekend. No. But it could certainly be worse. At least we're not dealing with snow yeah. or rain or anything crazy. And really, this is about where we should be hanging out. Yeah, so. that's true. And with that being <laughs> said, it's the weekend, Peter. We made it. We did it. All right, thank you. Yep. From